Gertrude the Great was a German Benedictine, mystic, and theologian. She is recognized as a saint by the Roman Catholic Church, and is inscribed in the general Roman calendar, for celebration throughout the Latin Rite on November 16. Life Little is known of the early life of Gertrude. Gertrude was born on the Feast of the Epiphany, January 6, 1256, in Eisleben, Thuringia. At the age of four, she entered the monastery school at the Monastery of St. Mary at Helfter, under the direction of its abbess, Gertrude of Hackerborn. It is speculated that she was offered as a child oblate to the church by devout parents. Given that Gertrude implies in the Herald that her parents were long dead at the time of writing, however, it is also possible that she entered the monastery school as an orphan. Gertrude was confided to the care of Saint Mechtilda, younger sister of the abbess Gertrude, and joined the monastic community in 1266. It is clear from her own writings that she received a thorough education in a range of subjects. She, and the nun who authored books 1 and 3 to 5 of the Herald, are thoroughly familiar with Scripture. The fathers of the Church such as Augustine and Gregory the Great, and also in more contemporary spiritual writers such as Richard and Hugh of St. Victor, William of St. Thierry, and Bernard of Clairvaux. Moreover, Gertrude's writing demonstrates that she was well versed in rhetoric, and her Latin is very fluent. In 1281, at the age of 25, she experienced the first of a series of visions that continued throughout her life, and which changed the course of her life. Her priorities shifted away from secular knowledge and toward the study of scripture and theology. Gertrude devoted herself strongly to personal prayer and meditation, and began writing spiritual treatises for the benefit of her monastic sisters. Gertrude became one of the great mystics of the 13th century. Together with her friend and teacher Street, Mechthild, she practiced a spirituality called nuptial mysticism, that is, she came to see herself as the Bride of Christ. Gertrude died at Helfter, near Eisleben, Saxony, around 1302. Her feast day is celebrated on November 16, but the exact date of her death is unknown. The November date stems from a confusion with Abbess Gertrude of Hackerborn. Works Gertrude produced numerous writings, though only some survive today. The longest survival is the Legatus Memorialis Abundantiae Divina Piet Artis, partly written by other nuns. There also remains her collection of spiritual exercises. A work known as Precis Gertrudiana is a later compilation, made up partly of extracts from the writings of Gertrude and partly of prayers composed in her style. It is also very possible that Gertrude was the author of a part of the Revelations of Mechthild of Hakarborn, the Book of Special Grace. The Herald is composed of five books. Book 2 forms the core of the work, and was written by Gertrude herself. She states that she began the work on Maundy Thursday 1289. Books 3, 4, and 5 were written by another nun, or possibly more than one, during Gertrude's lifetime and probably at least in part at her dictation. Book 1 was written shortly before or after Gertrude's death as an introduction to the whole collection. It is possible it was written by Gertrude's confessor, but far more like that the author was another health to none. The importance of the spiritual exercises extends to the present day because they are grounded in themes and rites of church liturgy for occasions of baptism, conversion, commitment, discipleship, union with God, praise of God, and preparation for death. Gertrude's spiritual exercises can still be used by anyone who seeks to deepen spirituality through prayer and meditation. Devotion to the Sacred Heart One of the most esteemed woman saints of the Christian West, she was a notable early devotee of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Book 2 of the Herald of Divine Love is notable within the history of Christian devotion because its vivid descriptions of Gertrude's visions show a considerable elaboration on the long-standing but ill-defined veneration of Christ's heart. 
This veneration was present in the belief that Christ's heart poured forth a redemptive fountain through the wound in his side, an image culminating in its most famous articulation by St. Bernard in his commentary on the Song of Songs. The women of Helfter, Gertrude Foremost, who surely knew Bernard's commentary, and to a somewhat lesser extent the two Mechthilds, Mechthild of Magdeburg and Mechthild of Hakarborn, made this devotion central to their mystical visions. Saint Gertrude had a vision on the feast of John the Evangelist. She was resting her head near the wound in the Saviour's side and hearing the beating of the Divine Heart. She asked St. John if on the night of the Last Supper, he had felt these pulsations, why he had never spoken of the fact. St. John replied that this revelation had been reserved for subsequent ages when the world, having grown cold, would have need of it to rekindle its love, later reputation and influence. After her death, Gertrude's work seemed to have vanished almost without trace. Only five manuscripts of the Herald have survived, the earliest one being written in 1412, and only two of these manuscripts are complete. She was popular in 17th century France, where her trust in and burning love for God were potent antidotes to Jansenism. Philip Neri and Francis de Sales both used her prayers and recommended them to others. In Spain, Fr. Diego, the confessor to Philip II, read the revelations of Gertrude aloud to the king as he lay dying in the Escorial. Her works were also popular with the Discalced Carmelites in the 16th century. Fr. Francisco Ribera, the confessor to Teresa of Avila, recommended her to take Gertrude as spiritual mistress and guide. More recently, Dom Prosper Guerranger, the restorer of Benedictine monasticism in France, was influenced by Gertrude. His Congregation of Soulsmus was responsible for most of the work done on Gertrude in the 19th century. Veneration Gertrude was never formally canonized, but a liturgical office of prayer, readings, and hymns in her honor was approved by Rome in 1606. The Feast of Saint Gertrude was extended to the Universal Church by Clement XII and today is celebrated on November 16, the date of her death. Pope Benedict XIV gave her the title, The Great, to distinguish her from Abbess Gertrude of Hakarborn and to recognize the depth of her spiritual in theological insight. Gertrude showed tender sympathy towards the souls in purgatory, and urged prayers for them. She is therefore invoked for suffering souls in purgatory. The following prayer is attributed to Saint Gertrude. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today. For all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family. Amen. Perhaps for that reason, her name has been attached to a prayer that, according to a legend of uncertain origin and date, Christ promised to release a thousand souls from purgatory each time, it was said, despite the fact that practices relative to alleged promises to free one or more souls from purgatory by the recitation of some prayer were prohibited by Pope Leo XIII. Patronage. In compliance with a petition from King Philip IV of Spain she was declared patroness of the West Indies. In Peru her feast is celebrated with great pomp. And in New Mexico the town Santa Gertrudes de Loda Mora was built in her honor and bears her name, Legacy. In subsequent centuries, Gertrude the Great was often confused with the abbess of St. Mary at Helfter, Gertrude of Hakarborn. As a result, she is often incorrectly depicted in art holding a crozier. The Monastery of St. Gertrude in Cottonwood, Idaho is home to a community of about 50 professed Benedictine nuns. Parishes are dedicated to St. Gertrude in Washington, Missouri, Cincinnati, Ohio, Kingsville, Texas, and Chicago, Illinois. St. Gertrude High School is a Catholic college preparatory day school for young women in grades 9 to 12 in Richmond, Virginia. St. Gertrude Church in Fieries, Killarney, County Kerry, Ireland.